hey guys welcome back uh today i'm just gonna freestyle this look i'm getting ready to go out and i have no idea what i want to do but i'm gonna just go with the flow and just see what happens So this is not new, this is the same step I did in the last video of just going right back in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz and just outlining my brows so that they can look full and you know, just, just, you know, beat. So um, this is not a new step. I'm just going in with the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Concealer and just outlining my brows with some concealer so they can look nice and precise. I'm going in with an angle brush and just making sure I get these angles and my curves just nice and precise. And I'm only showing this part of the um, tutorial because the last one I did, it was kind of a quick step that I used the brush that was on the concealer. But this time, because I have more time, I'm just going to go in with my angle brush and actually um, cut out my brows with a brush and be more precise with the method so that's what I'm going in and doing very very carefully I get so you know locked in with my brows I get so focused because <laughs> it really frames the face now I'm going in with a blending brush from real techniques and I'm blending out that concealer under the brows to make sure that the the look is just seamless with the eyeshadow you really want to make sure that that look is blended out because it's not a good look when your concealer under your uh, brow bone is wet or unblended. It really gives the shadow a bad look. So you want to make sure everything is nice and blended out properly to prep for your shadow. I'm just going in with the Tarte Shape Tape again on top of my brows. Sometimes I will use a more skin tone color to go on top of my brows, but today I want to go for drama, honey, drama. So I'm just going to go in with uh, the same color, lighter, and just cut the, the, the top of my brows. But I have to make sure I blend properly. Now I'm going in with the uh, Benefits Professional Matte um, Conceal um, no, Primer and priming my face. I like this primer because it's not too matte. Um, but at the same time, it's not dewy, so it's a right in the middle, a nice sweet spot. And I'm just going with that all over my face and just blending it out properly. want to make sure that's nice and melted into my skin. And I'm going to go and just dab that in, tap it in nice and slow. And that's going to give your foundation a nice seamless look too. I'm going on my lids with the Tarte Shape Tape again. Listen, this concealer, it saves me because it's so good. The consistency is good. So for it, it can serve so many different purposes on your face. But I use it for primer a lot of the times when I go, when I go for a bold look. It's really nice and thick and it sets the lid. I honestly use a primer seldom. <laughs> Now I'm just going to go in with some powder and I think this one was um, a L'Oreal powder that I oh, just a regular face powder going in and just setting my lids. Um, some people like to not to set it, some people like to set it. I like to set it sometimes. I don't know. I just go with the flow. <laughs> now I'm just going in with uh, a nice brown, brownish orange each tone from the, um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and just cutting my crease a, a little bit with that color, just making my crease a little warm. I always like to go in with a red tone in my crease. It just makes me, I don't know, it just looks good on black skin. I'm just going in with a deeper cranberry tone color and just defining that crease a little bit more. These two steps I always do with almost every look when I'm doing eyeshadow. It just really looks good. No matter what look I'm doing, uh, a, a cranberry shade always looks good in my crease. Next, I'm just going in with the same again, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And just cutting my crease with that concealer to make the look, look, the look nice. The look, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> to make the look nice and precise. 
and so this is a method I use I just put a whole bunch on the lid and then look up because sometimes when you look up the concealer uh, your, your, your eyeshadow kind of touches on top of your brow bone and really messes up the eyeshadow look so I just look for that line where my shadow and my brow bone will be touching so that I can make sure that I fill in that place with shadow and so that's why I do it. I use that technique it's really really good and I'm just gonna blend that all over my lid making sure my crease is nice and precise I'm a perfectionist when I comes when I when it comes to a cut crease so I take so much time actually I sped up this video <laughs> And I'm just going in with that same Real Techniques blending brush and just blending in that concealer on top of my lids to make it nice and seamless. I'm going away with a lighter shade in that same Soft Glam palette and just setting that concealer on my lids. I didn't really like that shade too much. But I wanted to use uh, at, at le the least amount of palettes as possible. So I just rocked with whatever shade that I could find that was light enough to make the shadow pop. So this will do for the time being. Just feeling myself. <laughs> and I'm just going in on my second lid and doing this exact same method. Look up. See where the concealer touches my brow bone and just cut in that exact same area so I can have a nice seamless look now I'm going in with a I lost that footage I don't know why but um, I'm going with a, a nice rusty rose color and uh, going in half of my lid with that color and just blending it out nicely just wiping the brush off listen I liked I like my look simple and easy same brush wipe it off with a towel or a napkin and going with another color and so I'm going with that gold color and just going in the second half of my lid and just blending it in with the rusty rose color that I just previously laid on my lid to give it that nice gradient effect you know And I definitely sprayed my brush with um with a, a setting spray just to give it a nice intense look. Although you don't see it from that angle on the camera, but I did spray with setting spray. And I'm just going on the other eye, same exact method, and the look is starting to come together. It's starting to come together. Now I'm going in with a black and going in my the outer V of my eye just to give my eye a little bit more dimension I like going in with a black uh, most of the time when I'm going for a dramatic look it just gives me all the drama I need so you don't need too much just a little bit on your brush and a nice fluffy brush and just blend that out now I'm going in with the Urban Decay um, heavy metals liner glitter liner and um, it's a pink color I forgot the, the, the shade name but um, I'm just going in with that on top of my lid um, just a little bit I didn't want to go with actual loose glitter because it's, it could be messy so I love these I, I haven't tried other brands but I should but I really like the Urban Decay so I stick to these but I'll try other ones and you have to make it dry for a few minutes because it's wet so you want to make sure that it doesn't go all over the place so um, I'm just going with uh, that same glitter liner on my other lid And I'm blending from the rusty color to the um, the bronzy color. I'm going all over with that same pink glitter shade, except for the outer V. Now I'm going in with the uh, Urban Decay, um, I think it's the Perversion uh, liner, and lining my eyes, giving myself not a too not a dramatic. A wing but still a wing when I go with a dramatic look I always like to go with a wing it just completes the look for me 
I'm going to the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in Cocoa and I'm going to the center of my face with that color. It always makes me look beat um, but I don't like to go all over my face with it. So I'm just going to the center with it and just blending it out with a NYX brush. And I'm going in with a smaller one and just going around my eyebrows with those because I don't want to mess up my eyebrows. Is I to look, listen, I took too much time to do these brows to mess them up with a brush. So I'm going to make sure I'm precise with this method and going in very carefully. Now I'm going in with my favorite Holy Grail foundation, uh, the Revlon Color Stay. And I'm going um, on the, peri ter the perimeter of my face with that color in, um, which one is that? Cappuccino, in Cappuccino. I know I look a little orange, but it will all come together very soon. So I use these two um, just to give me a nice seamless look. And I'm going back in with that NYX brush and blending that foundation out. Blending, blending, blending for my life. I sped up this video so much. If if you guys had to watch this whole video, it would be like <laughs> probably more than an hour. <laughs> now I'm going back in with my handy dandy Tarte Shape Tape Concealer <laughs> and um, highlighting under my eyes. I'm gonna go for a bright bold look because it's a dramatic look. So the concealer has to, you know give that same energy you know so I just want to look really highlighted so that's why I'm going in with this color I think this one is tan deep sand now um, the rest of the, the, the footage I lost um, but this is the lip I'm going for is a nude lip a regular lip liner from the drugstore and 1993 color lip gloss from Urban Decay and I'm just lining my lips and going in with that 1993 from Urban Decay all over my lips just to give me a nice neutral pouty you know soft glam lip because the eyes are so heavy already and that is the finished look just plumping up the hair a little bit and just getting ready to slay slay and slay thank you so much for watching so this is the finished look here I look pretty pretty beat which is what I was going for I went with some play, uh, pink glitter on the lids I don't know if you guys can see but um yeah I was just freestyling and I was just uh, seeing if I could I don't know look neutral but beat at the same time because I had a pink shirt so I decided to go with some pink glitter on the lids and um yeah i think it looks so good oh my goodness um the highlight i used oh i used this highlight and it's a uh, a new one from maybelline and i think it's limited edition so i don't know if people can still find it in the drugstore i also use these lashes that are so big that they look like i can take flight with them um but i only use them when i have to go out and i want i really want a dramatic look and these i got from amazon um they call last goose professional last i i don't know i don't know this is the i don't know if it can zoom in boom this is it so this is the uh, the number A06, and there's so many different numbers of them, um, but I really like those for really dramatic looks, which I have one right now. I also use this Urban Decay setting spray. It's a oldie, but a really goodie. Uh, you can find this at Sephora, I think Ulta. Yeah, yeah, I think Ulta. I don't even know. I don't know. I, I have this from a long time ago. You might probably still be able to get this in the store, but I used this today. I really wanted to be a little matte then often, and that's why I didn't use the Smashbox today. So this I used today. And these are the two palettes used today, the Lorac Pro palette and the Anastasia Soft Glam. And sturdy but this is the beauty blender i used uh is the black one i really like that one because i'm a dark skin girl and for foundation it's really dark and then the sponge stains and i have to wash out the stains um so i prefer using the black one that way i don't get to see all of the imperfections in it after i wash it um but yeah this you can find at sephora or on the beauty blender website 
uh but uh that's it that's the look um i hope you guys like it uh let me know how you like it i'm really feeling my highlight right now Ooh. oh my goodness oh Look at, look at that highlight. I mean, come on. Woo! Yeah, I'm really, feel, I'm really feeling this look right now. But uh, So yeah, let me know if you like it. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel again. Let me know how you like the two videos so far. I'm in the process of making more. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, crank out some good quality content. So, you know, with each and every video, the quality, I expect it to get better. So thank you so much again for all the support I've been getting on the last videos. Thank you so much for the love, the likes, the comments, the subscribes. Thank you so, 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 so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Um, this is a passion project for me. And so I just like that people are coming along on the journey with me. So thank you guys so much and expect content really soon. Uh, I have more stuff coming. Uh, just, just good stuff. Just good stuff on the way. Let me stop playing. Let me stop playing and get off this camera. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>